trans man as well because of the people that are joining this and that and just start with us so that uh, we will not be left uh, uh, blind. We won't understand what you are saying. I will start it and I'm going to maybe preview what I've already done before. I make us to understand that uh, when we are talking about witches and witchcraft, a wish, a craft, I, I said as a craft, is a trade. Do you understand that? Yes. When you say a craft, it's a trade. Let's just note that. Take note of that. When you say a craft, you are talking about a trade. Because we, uh, maybe the, like the trade in which we are, anything we are, we have it, we are it. We, 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 we don't involve in that. That's a trade. Likewise, the same thing. When we are talking about a witchcraft, it's a magical power. Someone that is using a magic. Using some evil spirit. When somebody is practicing sorcerers, a sorcerer, when you are practicing divination, when you see that somebody is a drinker of blood and eaters of flesh, and uh, when you find out that right, somebody is practicing this occultism, you will just categorize them as a wish crowd. Uh, they use so many means, different means, which are Uh, they are using this thing to maybe they, to make up their trade. They use this thing maybe to tell you about their future. They can tell us about their future. You see, that somebody is telling your future, sir, does not say it's seen it by the by the power of God. That is telling you this is what is going to happen in your life. It's not really seen by the power of God. If you look at the book of Acts of the Apostles, there's a lady there that was looking for the uh, this. Uh, the, the, the spirit of divination. Okay. Uh, you understand me now? Okay. So, that somebody is telling you, this is what is going to happen, this is what is going to happen to you, it's not really telling you, using the spirit of the power of God. It's the use of the spirit of witchcraft. Sir, they make use of prophetic messages to put people's life in bondage. I will tell you that when we get to that point. They use some prophetic messages. So, when you have a witch in the church, they use prophetic messages so that people's life can be put into bondage. Uh, I was able to say, tell you again about types of witchcraft. You don't forget it. We have the one in the heaven which is being controlled by the queen of heaven. Uh, you remember that? Yes. Okay. We have the one again in the water which they call, they call them the marine spirits. And we have the one again on the land. And I make mention of the categories of witchcraft. We have four categories of witchcraft. And one thing I want us to understand, which really concerns every one of us, is what I call a church witchcraft. What do I call it? Church witchcraft. Let's, let's, church witchcraft. Listen, I was telling some people this morning. Many of us, we are partakers, we are involved in this type of witchcraft, knowing it all. church witchcraft when somebody is trying to subdue others in order to rise up in that position and I've explained it uh, uh, you will see people pray against some people are you following me now? Mm -hmm. they pray somebody I, I see it so many times there was, uh, there was, um, there was sometimes I think I sat down in the front here sometimes. And then somebody was the choir were ringing and pointing. So I just sing a song. I will not forget that day. And I called her sister that wash and touch. She doesn't do it again. That's an act of witchcraft. Are you following me now? Mm -hmm. Two people came up to come and sing. I couldn't remember that occasion. I couldn't remember that occasion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I couldn't remember that occasion. Two people came up to come and sing. They were singing there. But one of the choir members, the 
way she was looking, she was not happy. Why not me? Are you following me now? Why not me? And the moment she was doing that, I was so, I, I, I was even thinking that I was going to get a second person. But I found out that not only the other people were able to notice, it's a part of witchcraft. So, when, when you are trying to destroy, to destroy others in order to gain entrance. You try to destroy others. You know, I can, let's say, many people are trying to destroy others before they pass us. Are you following me now? Many try to destroy others before uh, the leaders. What are they trying to do so that they can gain entrance? They can say, you are the only one that can do it. It's an art of witchcraft. And I go back with attack. Do you know that in the church now there's no testimony in the church? When somebody make a testimony in the church now, they are going to be a problem. It is the act of Christian. Sir, all the sacraments that some people are saying, we just eat some things, they put, they bring up some food into the church. It's a sacrifice. When some people want to, and you see in some areas, when they bring some food to the church of that idea, I don't want it. I'll tell them I don't want it. It's not, it's not pride. But some people, this is what they are doing. When they ask them to initiate some people into their powers, they bring food to the church. In a way of doing what they call the other. The act of prophecy to make sure they put people in bondage is an act of witchcraft. Please let me let me let me let me let, let, let's go open our Bible and see Ezekiel chapter 13. You see, I, 
I do say it. The work of a prophet or the work of a pastor is the business of a public job. It's one that one can do to get more money. Now, I can just tell you, please get, uh, you know, read that prophecy very well. And the word of the Lord came yeah. unto, unto me, saying, okay. Son of man, okay. prophesy against the prophet of Israel, okay. and prophesy, and say unto them that prophesy out of their own heart. They okay. prophesy out of what? Yeah. Yeah. I want to eat. I have something to eat. Then the next thing is just when I, I know I come to the church, when I prophesy the church, something is going to happen. And I continue to prophesy. And I made a prophecy. Are you following me now? Mm -hmm. It's not like maybe on one Sunday like this. You can remember one Sunday like this, maybe the last, uh, last two weeks. Yeah. What God asks us to do is to contribute, to, come, to bring out something. Are you following me now? Mm -hmm. There's only by the getting the money. If I get the money, it's going to be a nourishment. If I laid it as an emphasis that every body that has getting that money by the if you cannot have the money, pay at least ten, ten dollar, twenty ten dollar. They are going to have they are going to pay it. Because it is a problem that is speaking. But what is the essence of saying it? And then I use the money for condemnation. You will see a lot of Church, we call it the church which can. What do I call it? Church which can. It's just in the mouth. We have, you read that place, because you read that place, the arrogance and the pride in the house of God, especially between churches, between the pastors and some ministers, is the act of which can. You will see what they call lies, barbarity. Gossiping, malice, envy, jealousy in the body of Christ. Tribalism. Are you following me now? Tribalism. Now, there are so many of us, we place ourselves so high. We have, maybe, this is tribe. Uh, maybe it's from uh, South Africa, it's from Asia, it's from Haiti, it's from America. Then we come together. We are having a meeting. And let me just let me just say like this. I'm in Yoruba now. We have somebody that is Igbo. Then we the Yoruba we gather together, we are speaking. And you that is Igbo, you are not hearing what I'm saying. If I want to hear, what what do you think I'll be speaking? What am I supposed to do? Eh? If I want to hear what I say, if I'm not speaking against you, what are you supposed to be speaking? English. English. But because we have something hidden, which we call a hidden agenda. Tribalism. What's what we call church politics. But this really happened in the church. But we don't know it's, it's, it's an art of witchcraft. We, the church policy is long clear. The, the, I know you. If I don't know you, I don't, you don't do the same. You, you understand me now? It's people I know that speak favor. I was saying it. If we have every witchcraft power, tormenting my life, and died, many of us are going to die, but God is just a <laughs> God. We have to be very careful. You will see a lot of people I was discussing with somebody when we were just coming. Uh, you will know this uh, man, they call him Fela, uh, Fela and mm -hmm. The man, you see, it's not only all the musicians, there is some that goes in your head, which you call the spirit of pride. When God gave them something, they use that pride. But we are not saying, we are married 25 wife at a time. But we have a lot of men and women of God that are more than that. We hide it. To be fair, I did it so often. He took them 25, 25 wives. He gathered them together one day. He has an old father to bless them, and the family could bless them. But this man did his own openly. 
But there are so many people that are what we are, we say we are. It's a matter of which comes out. I was in uh, California last uh, week. And by the Spirit of God, I was talking to somebody of South. This lady was having a great problem. The, uh, the sound was just tormenting her. There are prayers of prayers that was going to be out. They've done everything they could do that was going to be out. But this one woman happened to be so immediately came in. And that's why I was discussing. The Lord has asked me to impress her. And I will. Uh, why did you betray? Spirit of betrayal. But she knew, I couldn't understand what the Lord was saying. I said, Why did you betray somebody? He said, Betray, I didn't betray anybody. I said, Ah, Lord, tell me. Okay, why did you run Paul to be bitter? I, I follow me now. Mm -hmm. I that was being spoken to, I don't understand what God was saying. Why did you betray somebody? He said, He doesn't betray. Then, how did you run Paul? Initially, I was thinking that this money, when you get this money from this, you know, this woman, this lady was conceived. When it was three months old pregnancy, she carried the pregnancy to go a custom man. She carried the pregnancy. You give the pregnancy to somebody else. That child is now, that boy now is 21 years. He doesn't know his father. But the child is now. It's not far to be out of witchcraft. And she is a big committed Christian. She is a deepness. She, listen. Say, you damn power. You damn power. power. Enforcing me. Enforcing me. To use my own life to destroy my life. To use my own life to destroy my life. I destroy you today. I destroy you today. In Jesus' name we pray. Yeah, the news, and I was just when I was talking to her, she she now realized. That a source, a source, a river that does not know the source, or a That boy has been trying to make things, cannot make it. But it's not their fault, it's the art of witchcraft. Because they've seen the glory of this boy, they don't want him to make it. And it happened a lot in the church. I have another case. You see, so many pastors, are, the Lord will deliver us. The Lord will deliver the pastor, especially. Amen. People that say you are highly anointed. There are people are rushing to The Lord will deliver us. There's a lady in Houston. This lady in Houston, what happened to her? She got to this country maybe just uh, maybe two years ago. She was not able to have a child. Then her friend, and that's why you must be very, very careful. That when they say household, the household normally use one they call. They want to make sure be like the way I am. I follow me now. Yes. That's the activity. Sir. I want to be the way I am. I want to behave the way I am behaving. I want to. You understand me now? The wife, this our friend does not have. He has got he got a broken hope. He now introduce her to the pastor. He said the pastor is not here. I'm sorry, why they call me to <laughs> They said the pastor is in Nigeria. Now I call the pastor. This lady is in the house with her husband there. They now call the pastor. Pastor, eh, I'm married for two years. I've not been able to have a child. You know what the pastor told you? He said, don't you have a boyfriend? You have a boyfriend. You go out with your boyfriend. And when you go out with your boyfriend, that's it. I 
and this now started going to Boston. And she was very, very unfortunate that the discussion, the visitation, the husband was able to bug it. He now drove her from the house. After driving her from the house, she's now crying. God, God, you see me. I am doing your work. Oh. I am doing your work. Oh. I am doing your work. Oh. It's, listen, they use prophecy to do what? And there is another category of witchcraft. I said, another category, which I call a black witchcraft. What I call it? Black witchcraft. And this is exactly what many of us are saying that we thought we were having a problem. Now, before I finish that, you know, why do we have a church witchcraft? A church witchcraft is just a way of making sure they depopulate the kingdom of God. Oh, mm -hmm. The church witchcraft is there. And from the church witchcraft, that is where other witches are being initiated. Are you following me now? Maybe mm -hmm. you see, eh, come and see. Maybe your pastor is, a, is, a, is also a witch. Why can't you come and join? Mm -hmm. we, have a, we have a lot of men of God and women of God that are directing their members. Are you following me now? They direct their members. So, so, how about this? You say, eh, you don't understand that. <laughs> you don't understand that. I didn't know. And I'm telling you now. <laughs> they, will, they will direct their members. They direct, it as, you, that as they are directed to how to pray, they direct their members to some areas. Do this, do this. I've told you about when I was asked to go and use a soap to wash my hair. Mm -hmm. I think I've told you. Mm -hmm. When you get involved in some of these things, they now get him. You see, some of us have gone to some of these churches before, uh, like this, uh, um, especially Celestial Church. You know, you are not going to know the effect of the church until maybe you are fully, fully deep in it. You know that? You won't know it. You'll be thinking that you are going to a church. But when the thing is done moving on well, when you are getting involved, getting involved, getting involved, then they are going to start introducing you to some things. So the idea of a church witchcraft sir, is to make sure they depopulate the kingdom of God. And that's why you have it in the church. A lot of men and women of God, after leaving the church again, they go and do some things which they get themselves involved in witchcraft. We have, you, 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 I've told you, I've described what a witch is. The occultism, you know, you have the lodge, you have this thing. In the church, you have a lot of lodge members. Do you know that? Yes. You don't know that. You, you, you understand what I'm saying? In the church, in the church of God, we have a lot of lodge members in the church. We have a lot of secret societies in the church. Not this church. I can hear you. She's kind of false. I said, not this church. It's just, we are talking no, about this, church. No, this church is church. church. Uh, church. Uh, I said church generally. I'm talking, He's talking uh, about church. I'm generally. not saying, I'm telling you what is happening. I'm not saying in this church. I'm telling you in this church. I'm not saying that. Listen, if God is going to take a whip and start whipping everybody to church, I'm not, I said, don't say this to I'm saying, when I'm talking about the church, which church, I'm talking about what is really happening in the church. But you, when your own eyes is open, you will know what is happening in your life. You understand me now? He said, the heart of man is desperately wicked. Who can know it? I was preaching somewhere in Nigeria one time like this. And Lord told me, people leave this place, they still go and go to Habadis. I said, Lord, it's not possible. He said, you better say it now. I said, to come out. Then I was, I was, you know, there are some things God will tell you, ah, in the, where people are rejoicing, where people are rejoicing. Then I said this, you know what happened? Somebody again come up. They now rise up. There was one, uh, Pablo Shinja there, one Pablo Shinja, here, here. Then the Lord says, somebody is patronizing some powers. Oh. If you do it again, there's going to be a problem. The Lord put a curse on that day. I got to one that day, somebody called me. So, Pastor, Pastor, how are they? He said, so, so, so. You know, I, I have to go and give money to those ones. You give it. <laughs> this happened. The Lord told you, it was a great power machine, one power machine, which I will not forget. Immediately, 
The Lord said there are some people that are still patronizing powers of darkness. Patronizing demonic powers. I will end up, but the Lord put it so that the after the service, if you go there, there's going to be more affection in your life. I don't think I have the auditorium that time. There was someone who dropped somebody. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Necklace. No, Necklace. Where you are talk- I'm talking, listen. If God opens your eyes, the problem we have is that when the eyes is opened, I don't know many of us may misuse the eyes. Mm-hmm. And we will run away. Hey, wish, wish, wish. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, the Lord wants to really give us the wisdom, the authority to be able to know how to deal with those things. Are you following me now? Like what you said, it drop. The fire was so much on that day in the church. That's the church here. That thing was dropped. They dropped their power. Are you following me now? The problem there is this. You don't allow a bird to fly, but don't allow it to pitch on your head. I think a sister will be coming to the church on Sunday now. Maybe if I know I'm going to have a meeting with the church pastor tomorrow, she will be coming. The bird was pitching on her bird. bird. <laughs> I said, what are you going to do? I said, is it physically or in the dream? He said, no, sir. Pastor, it's not in the demo. I'm talking about what is happening physically. Eh? You allow a bird to pitch on your head. <laughs> Understand what is really happening. So, sir, uh, it's, it's a very good prayer to ask. When people have been saying, I see you in your dreams, you are manipulating me, you are doing this, you are doing that, they are doing, they are doing a lot of good things, sir, by letting you know who you are. All you need to do is this, go back to God. Lord, am I the one that is really doing this thing? If I'm not the one, maybe carelessly. You allow this your body, when you call it garments, to be used by demonic power. Are you following me now? Mm-hmm. Because if you are very, very careless, <coughs> somebody else can drive this your garment. If I'm very, very careless, if I drop my key, I can drop my key maybe on the way, somebody can pick up my car. When you pick up the car, you go and use the car. You know that? Mm-hmm. If you commit any offense with that car, who, who is going to be who is going to be holding the trust? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They will send the ticket to me. Is that also? Yeah. But the car is not with me. The same thing is applicable. So when we, in the church, we have a lot of preaching tradition based on what you said this God. And they make use of them, make use of them to make sure they depopulate the kingdom of God so that they can use that to initiate people. Any question on that before I go? Any question? Yes. I wanted to ask you when we started, when you spoke about the residential power. Yeah, I'm, go, I'm coming to that place, sir. Okay. I'm still coming to that place. I, uh, I said residential power. Uh, I, I, will, I, will, I will touch that place. Are we okay? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. Now, we have another one, you call them the black. Have the list of all the witches and witchcraft. The list, when we say minor, minor, they are not important. There are some body that is not important. When you get an office, a gate man, a gate man is not important. A cleaner, a cleaner is not important. But it's as important, very, very important. A gate man. But you'll be looking at a director, like the most important person. But we have the black wish crowd. They are the list of all the witches. The list. These are the people, when you have been looking at something that a cat is tormenting you, uh, like mine, a cat. These are the people that, because of their fear, they project themselves into objects to torment people's lives. You see, is that maybe I cannot confront you. Are you following me now? Then I'm now sending someone to come and confront you. 
Uh, do you understand me now? Yeah. I can't confront you. What would I do? And I'm not saying somebody, hey, eh, sister, eh, 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 sister, don't say you Peter yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, you understand me now? Yeah. Who, who, who comes to, I'm the one that's coming. Where my country has just come? Because they are very, very afraid. They are seen inside of Ushka. They are very, very timid. But they are, they are very, very, they are minor, not that they don't have their powers. You know what I mean? They are the one that hold meetings in the trees, inside the fridge, at the crossroads. They hold their meetings on the trees. We, we have some trees, sir, that have been possessed, that have been bewitched. And that's why you see, in uh, some trees in the back of the house, you see, you will be scared in this boat. You are where well, yeah, yeah, boss on the on the on the tree almost every night. Mm -hmm. Have you been hearing it before? Yes. Do you understand me now? Mm -hmm. There will be a tree somewhere. That tree, you will be hearing at a particular day or at a particular time. We will be hearing the cry of a of of of, of, of a bird on it. Owl. I can hear you. Owl. Yes, yes. You'll be hearing their voice at a particular time. Are you following me now? Maybe it's just 2 o'clock today. Tomorrow again, 2 o'clock. Yeah. Know that that particular thing is bewitched. It's a meeting of witchcraft. Do you understand something? Mm -hmm. You don't understand me? Yeah, I do. Yes. Uh, we are going to listen. Oh. I just want you to know uh, there are something you are going to know. Okay. The first thing is just to know that they meet somewhere. And that's why you are here. They, it can be in a house. It can be in a house. At a particular time, that noise will be there. You are going to be hearing a strange noise. It can be a noise of a cat. Um, um, at a 2 o'clock today, 3 o'clock today, tomorrow again, 3 o'clock, you are going to be hearing that noise. Know that, that that is a place. They use that place as a meeting place. So, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Are you following me? Yes. Okay. They project that. Listen, a little of knowledge destroys so many things. My people are perishing for lack of what? Knowledge. You see, they project yes their body into some object for their meeting. They don't go to their meeting with their own. Like I have said, because of their uh, their fear.
and I'll spend like $500. You should be able to ask me. There's something. Do you want something? We are getting $500 an hour. Uh, $500 an hour. Maybe we work for, I work for eight hours. How much would that be? 40. Maybe there, there's no tax. There's no tax. There's, they, 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 they need to do any tax. For one week, for five days. How much, how much is that for five days? 200. 200. Now, I take you out for a week, sir. We spend like $500. <laughs> this was exactly what happened in the life of this sister. This sister was taken out and they spent like $500 in the night. They, an old elderly woman came to her. When the woman came, he said, Come here. They put a mat. You know a mat? Mm -hmm. Mat sometimes. That mat. Well, we are going to get to the place. We are going to get to the place. <laughs> they put a mat, they put it down. They now ask the sister to sit down on one edge. The sister sit down on one edge, and the woman also sat down on the other edge. It's just like maybe when you are uh, flying, when you are flying, the uh, the pilot now just say, "Okay, fasten your seatbelt." The seatbelt was fastened. This guy does not say anything. You know, this is now became something. He took them straight. He landed on the tree. Well, you see that tree that 